Farmers across the Sacramento region are praying that this upcoming storm will bring some heavy rain. As you hear there, probably not so much, but it's been a mostly dry winter, as we know, and it's making some farmers nervous about their crops. CBS 13's Angela Masalam is live in Elk Grove at the McConnell Estates Winery. Angela? You know, Christina, Tony, their prayers certainly have been answered. No more dry soil here at the McConnell Estates Winery, which has been parched for the past few months. It's really dry for December. Usually it's mud, but I mean, it, there's not a lot of moisture left. No rain has Mike Wakeman worried about his vineyard in Elk Grove, a family-run business for the last five generations. It's been so dry this year that the vines are really starting to think, are we going to get rain? Are we going to have water this year? But the dry winter is a blessing in disguise. Wakeman is getting a head start on pruning his vines. Usually that work begins in February. This year, uh, we started early on our pruning and we've been getting through. We've probably about 80% done with our pruning. Wakeman is a month ahead of schedule, so now he just needs Mother Nature to do her part. But if we don't get significant rain here in this next probably two or three weeks, yeah, we'll start looking to actually turn on the drip systems and irrigate the vines. Irrigating vines doesn't start until May or June, but with light rainfall expected in January, man made rain is the only way to go. Without it, vines they become weaker because they're being stressed by water. They become more susceptible to disease and, and pests. We always get a lot of rain and snow in February and March. It's happened before, and we're hoping that might happen again. Bill Bird, executive director of the Sacramento County Farm Bureau, says farmers like Wakeman have aired out their concerns over the lack of rain, prompting some to begin irrigating their crops early for fear of producing a lower crop yield. But if you start talking about another extended drought, three, four, five years then you're going to see some real pressures on the agricultural community. That's bad. Wakeman was prosperous in his yield last year thanks to an above average wet season. This year, he's praying for the magic word. Rain, of course we're waiting for rain. And while the rain is welcomed in the agricultural community, farmers say they still need a heavy dose of rain through spring to keep them on track. Let's help us open the storm door and they can get some relief. Angela Masalam in Elk Grove for us. Yeah. Angela, thanks. Now you can stay up to speed when the weather changes with the CBS 13 weather app. Get live radar and up-to-date alerts and you can download the app through iTunes and the Google Play Store.